Hi Sagittarius, welcome into your reading. We're reading for the fourth week of November. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, we're leading up to Venus retrograde December 15th up until January 29th, right through Capricorn season. I bring it up because you're going to start feeling the effects of it even from now. It'll be full-fledged during Capricorn season. But with that said, guys, listen to your Venus reading as well because uh, it's going to affect Libra and Taurus the most. All right, so let's get down to, to business here with you guys. I have Hangman, Pisces, the Sun, Leo, Ten of Swords, some kind of ending, the Wheel, big changes in your life, Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Judgment, Queen of Wands. Okay, so at some point in time, you guys were torn over a situation, whether it was to be single or to be with somebody, or I don't know, maybe two people, what do I know? Anyway, here you are, the Queen of Wands, unless you're dealing also with another fire sign like yourself, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, judgment, you needed to make a judgment call regarding this situation, and you got very, very stuck in your head and you didn't know what the right solution was until you had some kind of communication where you were on the same page with somebody and they when they offered you this message an emotional message this brought huge change to you uh what this change was was a possible ending of some kind but whatever this ending was it made you very very happy it's possible it could have also been a reconciliation but then after this we got into this weird stuck mode what is this stuck mode? I mean, so I don't know. Sometimes for me, the sun is reconciliation. I don't, I don't, I must be the only reader who reads it that way. Um, but yeah, there was an ending, maybe a reconciliation, and then you were stuck. Um, because in your situation, you have five of swords, for sure. Mental blocks again. These are knowing that you have to cut something out of your life. You know something's got to give. Uh, you know you need to sacrifice something for a greater purpose in your life what's coming towards you. And that's the situation that you're dealing with right now, Sagittarius. What's coming towards you is Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and Five of Cups. Somebody here is just dealing, constantly looking at, you know, their past. Guilt, remorse, sorrow, disappointments. But there's an offer here. A solid one, too. I'll bait small. There's an offer here with somebody who wants to collaborate with you. Sure, this can also be a work read and go for it. But somebody here wants to collaborate with you, put in the same amount of effort into a situation, but you are disappointed in this person in the in the past. What you don't see coming is this. Higher font, relationship, nine of cups, wish fulfillment, temperance, you, your card, tempering the situation, finding healing, finding balance. Archangel Michael is guiding this situationship to you but i have somebody juggling in and out energy somebody going back and forth vacillating in their mind or with this situation or person the more i drop the more i unfold the story reveals itself to me so in your um advice which is quite a chunk of cards here i have two of wands i have queen of pentacles i have king of cups I have seven of pent um yeah seven of pentacles the eight of wands and the lovers card. So in your advice, it is telling me that you need to find stability with a relationship or a situationship, um, while you know, keeping to your values. You know, uh, Sagittarius, the some of you could be single moms also. I don't know, are just are dealing with your mom. You could be dealing with your mom. I don't know, because that's what the Queen of Pentacles is. And in your advice, it's saying, take care. But that's a side note. But this is also talking about remaining who you are at your core level as far as nurturing and loving. But also finding stability. King of Cups, there's somebody here who wants to give you love. And it's saying you should receive it. Because in this relationship, whoever's coming towards you or whoever you have in your mind right now, there's stability in this situation plus love. Uh, but for whatever reason, you find yourself to be at a fork in the road over here. And this is definitely somebody you, because you probably have invested time and energy. It's also saying, take a time out in your advice. Look at it. Look at it clearly. Look at all the time and effort you put into something and communicate with this lover. Gemini card. It's definitely saying to communicate with this lover in regards 
to the time and energy that you have invested with this person. Uh, and it's definitely talking about some kind of foundation and you needing to make a decision what you're going to do with this lover. Because the universe is like, you don't want them. We know somebody else who does. And it could be vice versa, but I don't think so because this is your advice, Taurus. Right. And in your outcome, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody here is not listening or doesn't want to hear it. You're just like, oh, I don't want to know. I don't want to hear. I don't want to. I hear no evil, see no evil. I don't know what you're talking about. Because this is somebody who's not using their reason. They're not using their logic. They're they're just they're just shut down mentally. And it can also be you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who's quite nasty right now. Very nasty. I'm just going to be honest. This is the bitch card. That's like the bitch card. The queen of swords in reverse. Just ice cold. I don't know what that's all about. We're going to clarify. We're going to see. <coughs> I feel like a lot of you are dealing with somebody like that. I don't think that's like your energy at all. What is this five of swords, please? Or maybe somebody's misunderstanding you to be that way. Sagittarius? It's possible. What's this five of swords? Why is Sagittarius in their heads? Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and Six of Cups. Somebody from your past. You're in your mind over somebody from your past um, that was pretty much breadcrumbing you by being in and out of your situation, by being in and out of your relationship or in your life. And you're thinking about that. Yeah, emotionally guarded somebody here. Somebody was breadcrumbing you because they were emotionally closed off. They weren't available. Queen of Cups underneath that. Yeah, somebody was guarding their emotions so that you were being breadcrumbed and they were constantly in and out of your life. This, of course, could be you too. So please, you know, vice versa. Um, what's coming towards you is the disappointment in the lack of collaboration, possibly. I don't know. What's this Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups coming towards my Sagis? Might have also felt emotionally left out, or somebody was left out in the cold, just disregarded, discarded, felt discarded. Why do they gotta go on the floor? Let's see what this is, Sagittarius. Ten of Swords ending and Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody snuck away. Somebody cheated. Third party situation or just snuck off. Two of Swords also is here. Um, Ten of Swords. There, There's an ending here and somebody just keeps thinking about that ending. What's coming towards you? Needing to make a choice. Two of Swords being confused if you want to collaborate with somebody here. I don't know if this person who hurt you has come back towards you and you it's confusing to you now or um, because it looks like you might have moved on Sagittarius and you met somebody else. But now all of a sudden this person that you were in love with comes back and says, hey, yeah, look, here's my offer to you. I want to collaborate with you. But, you know, in the past, what they did was nothing but disappoint you. And so here you are now torn and stuck with the two of swords. Don't know, aren't sure. Um, because there was an ending in the past. Or you know that you need to end something here. Especially with the Five of Swords in your situation. Oh my god, yeah. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Soul, soulmates. Feeling like soulmates with somebody. 
Okay, I'm officially blind. I need to wear these to read. But you have the Fool here. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries also. The world traveling. Some of you are traveling with an Aries. Or want to travel with an Aries. You guys feel like soulmates. That's random and separate. <laughs> But yes, this is in regards to you being torn now because somebody is trying to, it just feels like there's an energy that comes in and out of your life. And every it's like every time you move on, Sagittarius, there they are, they pop up. Um, but there is somebody here that you feel like you're a soulmate with someone. And starting a new chapter with that too. That's coming down the pike is what I see. Okay, so what you don't see coming. Two of Pentacles, Temperance, Nine of Cups, the higher form. What is this Two of Pentacles? Because here's the Two of Pentacles again, twice from two different decks, juggling, going in and out. Temperance, Nine of Cups, the higher form. Maybe what you need to cut away is your past, Taurus. Taurus. Sagittarius. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, and that's why I said that. The fool. Never discount the things that I say because they're just constantly channeled messages. King of Pentacles. Do you, can you fucking believe that? Capricorn Virgo Taurus card came out after I just had that misstep with, with my me blurting out Taurus before it even comes out. Knight of Wands. Messages of passion, Knight of Cups. Somebody here is messaging feelings and passions, um, and this could be from an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Doesn't have to be. Can also be somebody's somebody stable, or somebody you perceive to be stable is all of a sudden messaging you this shit, this shit that you've been waiting to hear, and you never heard it before, and now you're hearing it, and you're like, oh my god, you know. And so, because this person looked like they were juggling constantly. And divine timing was at play with temperance here. It's going to make you happy with the nine of cups. And this is in regards to the higher font of relationship. Another card of Taurus. That's probably why I was saying Taurus so many times. Um, yeah, somebody's coming here with stability, offering you a relationship, Sagittarius. And this was all about divine timing. Taking a leap of faith, the fool at the bottom of the deck, two of cups, feeling like soulmates with somebody. This is an option. Seven of Cups. Oh my God. Five of Wands in reverse. You are you don't even feel like... Maybe you're dealing with two energies. I don't know. But in your mind, you're like, there's no competition here. None. <laughs> None. Your advice. Needing to make this decision. Whoever the latter half is person, I feel like, who's the two of wands? Can you just show me who's the, the two of wands, please? Who or what is the two of wands? Just the two of wands, please. Three of cups, reconciliation, page of cups. So someone's messaging you something about a reconciliation with this two of wands in your advice but you're gonna have to decide what to do with that okay and three of let's see because you have lovers you have eight of wands what else do you have for their advice what else do you want to say for their advice universe besides the eight of wands the lovers the seven of pentacles and this king of cups Somebody here is emotionally available and the other person is stable between the two of you. Nine of Wands. But somebody here is emotionally guarded. I kind of feel like it might be you, Sagis. And it's saying you need to make yourself available. Yeah. Right? And the Three of Pentacles. Collaborating. Anything else in their advice? You need to make yourself emotionally available. That's why you have the Eight of Wands and lovers communicating with this lover. But you also have a fourth in the road. Four of Wands, Six of Wands, the Tower. Yeah, this is coming out of nowhere. The Queen of Wands, this is you, and the Eight of Cups. Somebody here is emotionally detached. Um, but, you know, somebody here out of nowhere is offering you to propose to you, engage, move in with you, 
uh, and six of wands with success. Somebody here that's coming towards you is very serious. But somebody here is emotionally unavailable or detached emotionally. Somebody here is just thinking about money and finance and stability while the other person is all about the feels. Um, but in your advice position, it is saying make yourself emotionally available, Sagis, to the circumstance. And you need to communicate this to your lover. And this is somebody you've invested time and energy with. This isn't just like not anybody. I say that because it's the Seven of Pentacles is here. With the King of Cups, somebody who emotionally likes you. And you look like you're the stability to them. What's this Queen of... Yeah, Four of Swords is at the bottom. Somebody here is healing. And maybe that's why they weren't emotionally available. What is this Queen of Swords in reverse, please? Why is she here? Outcome, please. These are weekly readings, guys. This isn't the forever outcome. This is just the weekly in the fourth week. And like I said, Venus Retrograde does a whole bunch of tricks on us. Woo! Two of Cups. Somebody's being ice cold in this relationship, but you both feel like your soulmates. You both feel like your soul partners. Yup, the devil. And that's what's toxic in your situation. You could be also dealing with Capricorn. But the toxic thing is somebody's being bitchy and nasty in your dynamic. But you both love each other. Because you both feel like you're soulmates. And that's your outcome. But this is what's toxic. The world. Starting a new chapter. The moon. Maybe you travel a lot and they're pissed off at you. I don't know. The moon. Secrets. Somebody... I guess because somebody isn't emotionally available, they think someone here is holding secrets. And then... They find that to be shady. Page of Swords. Yes, yeah, stalking. The moon, shady. That's like not telling you anything. Two of Wands in reverse. Temperance, you, the magician, manifesting. Look at all these major arcanas at the bottom of the deck, hermit. So I guess when you got this like emotional new opportunity, you kind of might have clammed up, Saggy. And they thought that this was weird. Um, but they didn't know where you were coming from, like misunderstood, as I was saying. Uh, and that's what I was getting from this Queen of Swords in reverse, a misunderstood feeling, thinking that you're icing them out, that you're being cold, but you're not. You're processing. And, you know, we all have our ways of processing. Um, let me see what's going on here. Universe Angel Spirit Guides, what do you have for my Sagis, please? At the bottom of the deck, reconciliation. Look what I was reading earlier. Under that, it's safe for you to love. So maybe this is why you're not emotionally available because you might be afraid of getting hurt. But it's safe for you to love under reconciliation. For some of you are having that and you are doing that cycle. Others of you are like, fuck no. Nope. I'm ready to move on. Pay attention to the red flags, guys, and love yourself first. You know what that means. When you see, see pay attention to the red flags, you know, if somebody's saying, I'm not emotionally available, believe them. Those red flags are, I think I just got done saying this for Aries. Those red flags are not invitations to a carnival. <sighs> Those are red flags of warning. You know, warning, warning. This person is saying that they're not emotionally available, believe them. Or if, because I saw the devil there earlier, if, they're, if they haven't changed their ways and they keep sh showing you this devil and toxic shit and toxic patterns... Love yourself first. Put your foot down. Demand what you need in your situation or your relationship. You know, if somebody's sitting here calling you a bitch or you're ice cold or whatever, or this is vice versa, you just need to explain. Relax. I have a process. You know, I just, um, this is me just kind of reconditioning myself because I need to love myself first. I don't need to take any abuse from anybody from the past. Absolutely not. That's why some of you are having a reconciliation while others of you are like, fuck no, they're a red flag because you love yourself first. You all have different partners, guys. You don't all have the same partners. 
So you know how it is. All right. Let me see what your advice is. Let's see what's going on. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. What's going on for Satchis? But I do see a partnership here. It's here for you to be had. You just have some like rough patches to get over. Okay, believe in the impossible. Yeah, totally. Sad geez, believe in the impossible. Why did it get dark all of a sudden? It's only two in the afternoon. You are good enough. Yeah. Love yourself first. You're definitely good enough. Don't let anyone take away your worth, your value, or make you feel anything less. Communication is key, totally. This is lack of communication, by the way. In your outcome, this is not communicating. This is shutting down, totally shutting down. Um, and that's why I'm more or less starting to feel like this is you, Sagis, because this is what it was telling me in your advice. You need to communicate with your partner, and this is vital. Communication is key in order for you guys to have this level of success with your lover. For sure, it's there to be had. You just have to open up, and you're good to go. All right, Sagis, I will see you on the next one.